when I run. It allows me to kind of slow down and think about everything that's been going on. Time moves slow as an athlete. Quiet moments lead to loud results. Lauren Dunsmore is one of the top female athletes in Pueblo history. Her volleyball skills at Pueblo West High School led her to the University of New Mexico. Injuries ended Lauren's volleyball career, but she would be reborn as a runner. When I was running, I was kind of running angry. I was, I was mad that I couldn't play volleyball anymore. I wanted to, to be an All-American in one, one way or another. And so that's when I ran at that point, I was running because I had something to prove. Lauren returned home, home to Pueblo, home to more triumphs. In 2007, she did become an All-American with CSU Pueblo's cross-country team. She graduated and celebrated her return to volleyball and CSU Pueblo as an assistant coach. She fell in love with Donnell Leomiti, who had just arrived on campus as the football team's defensive backs coach. Donnell's football career at Colorado University spoke for itself. The two accomplished college athletes were now college coaches. Donnell and Lauren Leomiti were married in 2010. The proud parents welcomed Malachi and Kayani into the world and life was perfect until it wasn't. Your life, you have this book, and it's your playbook, and you know what you're doing and how it's going to unfold. And sometimes there's the wins, and sometimes there's losses. But when you get something like a cancer diagnosis, there's, there's no game plan. Cancer, and not just any cancer, stage four stomach cancer. Last Christmas, Donnell was in a coma. He spent 31 days in Parkview Medical Center clinging to his life. When I first saw the scans after they were done, my heart sunk. When I hear stage four, I've talked to enough doctors and done enough work here that when you hear stage four, you think hospice. Here is Sangre de Cristo Hospice, a 10 bed inpatient facility with its fair share of cancer patients. Lauren embraced her job like never before. The people here understand what we're going through and they support what we're doing and they give me a whole perspective of now I can be coming from the family side, the patient side. Hospice care was not in the cards for Donnell and his attitude never wavered. Even after the four complicated surgeries where half of his pancreas was gone, 60% of the liver, a lot of the stomach, spleen, appendix, gallbladder, and part of the large and small intestines. This has been a life-changing thing for him, for sure. Uh, it has for everybody, but you can definitely tell just sitting down and talking with him that um, things are different now. As athletes, Kara and Lauren always complimented each other. As a firefighter, Kara understands strength and sees plenty of it in her younger sister. She just has the ability to keep going and keep going. Realizing that my husband was very, very sick and that my kids might not um, have their daddy at graduation. And that was probably the hardest day of my life. <laughs> Her hardest day turned into a stay of support, something the community was ready to provide. Support to her family, from, to Lauren and the family, from her family, from the Pack family, just everybody that was here was just amazing. You know, medicine has come a long ways and there's a lot we can do with that, but I'm a firm believer in your attitude and how you approach things is, is a big part of your recovery and how you're going to do. He is the strongest person that I've ever met in my life. He has a spirit about him that he's, he's a fighter. Donnell grew up in the American Samoa Islands. In eighth grade, he lost his mother to stomach cancer. Donnell Leomiti is not going down without a fight. When he's home, he's engaged as tired as he is and as sick as he feels. He's, come on guys, come on, let's, let's go. You know, even if we're sitting on the couch watching a movie and they're just cuddled up right next to him. He is, uh, he is one of the most involved dads. Our time is never promised and he sees that and he makes every second count. Life goes on, now and always, Donnell and Lauren forever. Donnell Leomiti joining us, had a chance to, to watch the piece in person, and when you see your wife, what, what a superstar. How are you so lucky to land a woman that strong? Exactly that, just lucky. I mean, she's a strong woman. I knew that the very first time I saw her, the way she carried herself. And that's why I, I fell in love with her. I, I think as a man, you, you always want to take care of your family. You, you feel that that's your responsibility, and, and 
I know with my situation, no matter what I'm going through, no matter what situation, especially with this cancer and everything, I, I just want them to feel and I want them to know that that I'm okay, <laughs> that everything's going to be okay, that that daddy's okay, that, that your husband's okay, that, that uh, we're going to get through this. And, and I'm, I'm, you know, I'm going to do everything possible to portray that, to, to, to help them believe that. What's your biggest fear been during all of this? Uh, <laughs> Uh, just not seeing him. Strength, strength, yeah. strength, strength is hard to come by. I don't think I don't think you can you can be taught strength, but you you find out how strong you are in in the worst possible moments in in, in life. Where have you seen the strength in in your wife and your family? I think about, uh, well, for, for us, I know that our our strength really comes from our relationship with God, and I, I really I really drive on that. I really I need that. Um, I think that's gotten me through all this and he's gotten us through this is our, our relying on, on God and his and his plan and, and, and us believing that that everything's gonna be okay baby that he's taking care of it. now don't ask why me but yeah. you know ask more of why not me you know I'm in this situation I got a chance to to, to get to, to show to show God's strength to show God's mercy and, and, and to really be a light and be, hopefully help someone else out there and so you continue to lead by example, though. You look at eighth grade when you lost your mom, when she was flying from uh, the American Samoa Islands yeah. to Hawaii and passed away of stomach cancer. And, and then after you graduated from CU, that you had a chance to join the 49ers, but a neck injury ends your professional career. There are examples of adversity every stage in your life, yet here you are walking taller and stronger than ever before. It's a great thing. I mean, I think, you know, Dr. Vijan is like the... There's only three doctors in the country that's, that's seen this type of cancer, and he's one of them. You know, for him to be in public Colorado, that reaffirms my faith that you know everything I've been through was was set for this moment. And so, uh, there's no doubt in my mind. There's no there's no worries. Uh, you know, obviously there's fear, obviously that that can creep in, but there's just no worry. I, I just know that that God in control. I know that He's gonna take care of this. He's gonna take care of our family, and that I'm gonna beat this. I, I wake up every day, and I'm like. Man, how lucky am I to go through this? You know, how, how lucky am I to be able to, to fight through this? How lucky am I to have this family? How lucky am I to have Lauren as my wife, to have all my kids here, you know, it, to be here at Cecil Pelo, to coach, to do what I'm doing? This is unbelievable. I'm lucky, you know, to, to, to be able to do this. And so I don't look at it as, like you said earlier, why me? I look at it as, man, I'm blessed. Her strength and it's everything about her. I, you know, I've told her this before, she makes me want to be better. You know, and, and seeing her strength, and seeing her eyes, and seeing what she does for her, for our family, just just motivates me to to fight even more.